Guys, today we had over 25 new Funko drops from SpongeBob SquarePants to Castlevania. We also had Black Clover, Sports, and more. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I do hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. So we're gonna be recapping all of the drops that took place today. We had so much crazy stuff. Again, as I mentioned, we have SpongeBob, we have some Sonic, we have some anime with Black Clover, we also have Sports, and just a bunch of different fun things. Now, as always, if you guys need to pre-order anything new we're about to talk about, check out the links down below in the description. And before we jump into everything, we do have our question of the day, which is, do you have a Funko Bob in your collection that looks cosmic? And I'm going to go with Captain Universe Spider-Man here. This is going to be a little bit of a tougher one, so I hope you can get it. I think I want to kick things off with SpongeBob SquarePants. So this is for their 25-year anniversary. We did get eight new Funko Pops, as well as Mystery Minis and Plushies. First up, for the commons that are now available for pre-order, we do have Caveman SpongeBob, which looks great. We also have Krusty Krab Pizza SpongeBob, which that's probably one of my favorites out of all of these, and I love the screaming, singing mouth there. They really killed it with that. We also had Doodle Bob there. Also really killed it, holding the pencil up in the air, screaming, love it. Then we have Glove World Spongebob, which I'm assuming we're going to have some kind of glow variation in the future of that one for sure. We also had Fry Cook Games Patrick and then Ripped Pants Spongebob with the guitar. And he probably does have ripped pants in the back, but we haven't seen first looks at that just yet but I know everybody's gonna be laughing when we do. Again, guys, those are all common, so they're available at most places, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, Hot Topic, etc. Now, moving on to our very fun exclusives. The first one here is SpongeBob with the Suts. Definitely another one they killed it with the design. I kind of expected this one to be a six inch. However, it looks like it's going to be a four inch pop. So it's gonna be a little bit of a smaller one, but hey, at least it'll fit with your other SpongeBob pops. And then we also had a meme pop, which is mocking SpongeBob here. Definitely a hilarious one to make. However, as cool as this is, this one just looks terrifying. Like it literally looks cursed. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad mold. Honestly, this is really hard to replicate from that meme into, uh, you know, a Funko Pop. So I am gonna say it's good looking for what it is, but I think at the same time, it just looks scary. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think about it. But seriously, kudos to Funko for even designing something like this. Again, it had to be very hard. Now our last few SpongeBob items include some plushies and mystery minis. So the plushies feature Mr. Krabs, Gary, Squidward, Patrick, and SpongeBob, and then the mystery minis have a bunch of different variations of pops we have, as well as other things that we haven't had as pops yet. Now this anniversary set is really killer. They nailed it here. My only thing is there's so much SpongeBob, and I know he's the main character, but so many people have been waiting for an updated Mr. Krabs or Sandy, or even a normal looking Squidward. However, we have not gotten those yet. So here's hoping in the future we will get those characters as well as Pearl and just plenty of other things they could make from SpongeBob. Because SpongeBob's great, he has a lot of funny moments, but I think a lot of people would really appreciate an expanded universe of the characters and updated molds. So moving on, we do have a couple pop video games here. So check this out. We do have the Oxen and Wagon as a Funko Shop exclusive from the Oregon Trail. However, the twist is it's actually green like it is in the game. And I thought that was really neat. And if you didn't know, we also have a regular one and here's both of them kind of side by side. The regular one is actually a common available for pre-order right now. And the green oxen and wagon will actually be releasing in the next couple months, so stay tuned. Next year, the other video game pops we do have come from Sonic. Firstly here, we do have Shadow. This is a GameStop exclusive where he's holding the emerald there. So this was actually not crazy different if you look at this side by side of one of the original Shadow commons. In this new exclusive, he's just holding the emerald. That's it. Nothing else is different, unfortunately. Well, I guess they probably updated the colors a little bit, but other than that, it's very, very similar. As far as when it's going live for pre-order, it didn't drop today, but I expect it to drop very soon, so stay tuned. And the other Sonic Pop we had was Tails here, flying using his tail. So this is a specialty series exclusive and does have a flocked chase variation, which is a very proper chase for Tails for sure. Now, specialty series are usually a little bit harder to pick up because not every store does sell them for pre-order, However, I do believe Entertainment Earth might still have the pre-order up, so check the description box down below if you do want to grab a couple for that chase. Moving on, we do have a couple new anime pops here. So first up, for Castlevania Nocturne, we did get four new pops. Unfortunately, no exclusives, but all the pops do look really great. So I actually watched the first Castlevania, but I didn't watch Nocturne. So unfortunately, I don't know too much about most of these characters. However, they do look really cool. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for a long time for new Castlevania pops, so make sure to get yours. Now, the other new anime pop we have comes from Black Clover, and it's an exclusive. 
but very disappointing, unfortunately. So taking a look at Chow's Collectibles' new exclusive, we do have Yuno Spirit of Zephyr here. So, if you own the original Yuno Spirit Zephyr that also has a glow variation, you'll know that this one isn't much different. Here's a side-by-side -side of the Previews exclusive as well as the new Chalice exclusive. The Previews being on the left, the Chalice on the right. So basically, the only thing that is different is that there's some swirling wind around the sword, and then he's in a levitating pose. That's pretty much it. So, so far, this new exclusive Yuno is the second kind of bummer pop for the Black Clover line because Funko was off to a really great start. And then they're kind of Funko-fying the line where they're making very simple variations now. Because like Fuego was the other one that a lot of people really didn't like. We expected so much more from that pop versus just an exclusive with a very simple glow, might I add, where he's just missing his arm, which is a really cool looking pop in theory. However, they could have added so much more to it. I really do hope that Funko doesn't destroy the Black Clover line with these simple variations of these characters because the original Spirit of Zephyr was perfect as it is. We didn't really need this one. If anything, if anything, they could have made this Chalice exclusive as the only one with a glow chase and it would have been amazing. I actually really do like the swirling wind around the sword and it makes more sense for him to be in a floating pose anyway. So if it was glow in the dark, I would say the Chalice one would be the superior mold. Now that's just my two cents though. Let me know how you guys feel about Funko's direction with the Black Clover now. Do you feel they might ruin the line with all these variations? Are you loving the variations? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Next here we do have one new sports pop and we do have another Lou Gehrig here. So this features him in the dugout there with some baseball bats. It's a cool little deluxe piece for sure. Now this one's a common, so pretty much you can find this anywhere. Moving on, we do have a couple new deluxe bitty pops here, kind of featuring some scenes here. So check this out. The first one is Batman Hush from DC, as well as we do have Superman. So they're both kind of just perching essentially like in front of their cities. And then we also did have some Marvel ones, which included Iron Man with the Avengers Tower in the background and Spider-Man with New York City in the background. Let me know what you guys think about these Biddy Pop Deluxe pieces here. Do you think it's kind of weird for them to make a small product and then start making it bigger? Do you like the Deluxes? Do you like the little rides they're doing? Or are you passing on the whole Biddy idea altogether? Moving on for Wolverine fans, over on Amazon right now, you do actually have the next Marvel Collector Core box, which is themed Wolverine 50 years here. So there will be at least two pops in here, a t-shirt, a sticker, and most likely an enamel pen. Now, unfortunately, we don't know exactly what's in the box or what's confirmed for the box just yet, but if you are interested and want to pre-order on Amazon, there is a link down below. Next, for WWE fans, we do have first looks at the new New Umaga Funko Pop here. So this is going to be an exclusive, most likely Target or Fanatics is my best guess here. But he does look really good. I think they did a great job designing him. For those interested, we don't have an exact drop date just yet, so stay tuned. Okay, so that pretty much recaps all of the new drops and releases that did happen today. If you guys want to pre-order anything, again, check out those links down below. Now I want to go over a couple other updates I had for you guys. First up here over at Target, I want to let you guys know some of the new 8-bit Marvel pops of Spider-Man and Doc Ock did go live for pre-order, as well as the new Daredevil black and white comic cover. I didn't spot Green Goblin for some reason, so maybe he's still sold out for now. Like, they did a really soft drop for those, and then they sold out really quickly, meaning they didn't really drop all of their stock. I don't know if it was a test or something. But anyways, at the minimum, Spider-Man and Doc Ock are available for that 8-bit set. And the other update I have for you guys were some closer looks at upcoming exclusives and commons. So firstly, here we do a Wednesday Adams with the Umbrella, which is a Chalice exclusive here in the States. And then we also had closer looks at the TMNT retro set here. So we have Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Slash there. And finally, a closer look at the Puss and Boots from the Wanted poster in the movie. Alrighty guys, those are all the Funko News updates I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any further questions or need any help with anything, drop a comment down below and I will do my best to answer it. But for now, make sure to hit that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do want to say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.